What's going on, y'all? The reviewer is here, and I'm back to give y'all this album review of Kane and Abel. Am I my brother's keeper? And in case y'all don't know who Kane and Abel is, they're twin artists from New Orleans, Louisiana. This is their second debut album. The first one was called The Seven Sins, Seven Deadly Sins, or something like that. And y'all know how I do. This is the real deal. No bootleg. And I'm going to show y'all a little something this in a second. This is something that I want to show y'all, man. What I miss about album covers back in the day, they used to show a whole boatload of albums coming soon. You know, they show the Snoop Dogg, the game used to be sold, not to be told. Then they had the 504 Boys, Goodfellas, Mr. Serve on the next level um, coming soon. I'm going to review that soon, wherever I find this album. Then Skull Duggery, These Wicked Streets. It's another one I'm probably going to get. And they had all the other albums coming out soon. I mean, this is what I miss about album covers, man. They really put their heart and soul in it. You can tell for the most part. And then the other side, you had these right here. Master P presents Downside Hustlers Making Moves. I don't know if they ever came out with that, but Mac... Shell Shock, definitely getting this soon. Be on the lookout for this album review. And then these never, I don't think these came out. I don't think they did. I know this probably did, I think, but I don't think DJ KLC, man, this dude was the king of producers, dog. Like he used to make some raw beats. And then there were some other albums that was coming out soon. I think all these came out. I want to get Big Ed the Assassin, Moby Dick, Gangsta Harmony, Gambino Family, Mercedes, Rare End. I think she got another album coming out too. Prime Suspect, all these magic, may he rest in peace, sky's the limit. Like I said, this is why I used to miss about these albums, man. I'll let y'all know who made all the beats for the album and stuff like that. And the features is on the front cover. Is Master P, Soak the Shocker, Snoop Dogg, Fiend, Mystical, Soldier Slim, C Murder, Mr. Servorn, Mia X, Mac, Big Ed, Magic, Prime Suspects, and Full Blooded. And of course, the singers, Odell. Now I'm gonna go with the songs now. The first track is called Time, which is a pretty nice track from Kane and Abel. They come through with some good vocals on there. It's a nice laid back song. And the sample from an old school cut. Master P is on here and he does well. This is for the smokers. This is a blazing track right here, man. Kane and Abel does the thing. And like this song says, if you're a smoker, this will be a great track for you. The next one is trying to have something. This features Master P. And forgive me if I don't know all the features. But this is a really nice track right here. And they think about just making come up, trying to make some ends and stuff like that. Next one is called Soldier. This is a real tight track right here. And it starts off kind of slow, but then when Kane and Abel start rapping, that's when that beat really kicks in. Awesome track, man. This is probably one of my favorites off of this album. Then the next one is called Throw Them Things. I think Magic is on here and See Murder, if I'm not mistaken. But they come through with some dope verses, man. This is a great track as well. In case y'all know what throw them things mean, that means shoot them gats, you know, stuff like that. Then I'm going to go down to Stress. Stress is a really nice track from Kane and Abel. They talking about the hard times and stuff like that, that they witness. It's on some real stuff, man. Then We Don't Care is another tight track from Kane and Abel, man. I mean, this song goes hard, man. That beat is bumping. That bass line is sick. Both come through with some dope verses on there. Number 11 called Watch Me. This is a real tight track, man. Mystical does the hook. I mean, this song is tight. Mystical actually keeps the song kind of crunk. Then the next one is called Only God Knows. This is on some real stuff, man. I like the content of the song. And Kane and Abel is rapping about the Illuminati and the Michael Chips and stuff like that. And you got to think, this came out in 98. You know what I'm saying? They was talking about this stuff way before all this stuff became into existence. You feel me? So it's a really tight track. This is a must peep if you haven't heard this before. 
Then the next one is called No Limit Ends or No Limit Niggas. This is a real tight track right here. This features C Murder and some other guys. I'm sorry if I don't know who they all are, but this is a real tight track, man. All of them come through with some dope verses, man. I think the last person that raps really did an awesome job. Real talk, man. Then the next one is about that combat. I remember I used to play the hell out of this song, man. This song is hella crunk. You know, it, the hook goes, we about to combat, about to combat, about to combat. You know, it go, it's hella crunk. And then all of them come through with some great verses, man. This, this, this is probably one of my personal favorites. Then the next one is called, I'm going to go down to Better Kill Me. This is a real tight track, man. This is probably the best song on the album, man. Like... Kane and Abel basically saying the only way to take me out the game is y'all better kill me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the beat is bumping. Man, yo, y'all gotta check this song out right here. Then My Hood to Yo Hood. This features Snoop. He does the hook. Kane and Abel comes through with some dope verses on there. That beat is bumping, man. Y'all gotta check that beat out. Am I My Brother's Keeper? And I love this song, man. For real, dog. Like, they got a great sample from New Jack City. And Kane and Abel just talking about some real stuff, man, on this song. Only downfall is that it only lasts like a minute and some change. The next one is Gangsta Fi Forever. Now, in case you haven't heard the first Gangsta Fi, that song is tight, like a mug. And this song is pretty good as well. This features Silk, Mr. Servon. And that's it. And they come through with some great verses there, man. Probably another one of my favorites off of this album. Greens, Cornbread, and Cabbage. This is one of my favorite songs off of this album. I've been saying that lately, right? Master P, Prime Suspects. Man, that beat, it's probably one of the hardest beats that I ever heard in a minute, man. Like... It's so cool and laid back, and there's a great sample from Bone. Gotta make that money, man. They got that part on the hook. Master P came through with one of the hardest verses that I ever heard, man, on him on the mic. And all of them did their thing on the rest of the song, but this is a must peep for those that haven't heard this song yet. Then the next one is called I Ain't Running. This features C Murder. And you can kind of tell it's a C Murder track. By the way it sounds and all that stuff. See Murder come through with a dope verse. Kane and Abel did a thing as well. They're playing the low tennis verse. That's why I call it. And that's pretty much it. That's all the songs that I review for this album. The rate this. I think I will give this out of a 10. I will give this a 8.5 to a 9. I think the Kane and Abel album... The Seven Sins is a good album, but I think this one tops it to me. If you're a No Limit fan, I would highly recommend this album. And it was this was pretty hard for me to find. So if you haven't heard this album yet, I would choose this one first. And then you can decide whether you want the other Kane and Abel albums. If you try to get this real CD, it's going to cost some money. All right. So if you're a big fan from No Limit back in the day from 97 on through and stuff like that or even earlier than that this is a must have all right so that's it shout out to kane and Nabel for coming out with a dope album shout out to all the producers and all the features all right much love to the real folks and i'll be on here back with another review all right peace out